Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part three of working with Booleans in the Operators and Methods unit of Module 0. So now we're going to talk about the AND operator. So we just did OR, now we have AND. So we can compare two Boolean values and decide if both of them are true. So basically operand 1 is true and operand 2 is true is the answer that operand 1 and operand 2 is giving us. So if either one of them are false, the entire expression overall is going to be false. Let's have a quick look at the console.logTruth table, which is going to tell us true for the first one because they are both true, and false for all the rest of them because at least one of them is false. Uh, I do not know why the undefined came in here. I feel like this is one of those uh, mysteries of the internet where I think if we run this again, it's not going to say that undefined. Yeah, so not really sure why that's happening, but hey, just put it in the pile of things to research at some point if you feel like it. Actually, don't put that in a pile of things to research because it's likely just an error and not really worth any sort of uh, in-depth explanation. But now that we have the truth tables established, let's talk about a situation in the real world where these Boolean variables and the AND operator could come in uh, useful. So let's describe the idea of we will attend and we'll assign it to the idea that my friend can go and I can go. And so we will attend is going to be true if both of these are true. So if we set up the idea that my friend can go and I can go, then if we run this, the message live to the console is going to be both my friend and I will go true. Which it is. So let's change this to say that now my friend cannot go, but I still can go. And the answer to will we attend is no, because I do not want to go without my friend. And... We could invert these. Now my friend can go, but now I can't go. But since my friend is cool, and he remembers or she remembers that I didn't go when they couldn't go, they are also going to stand in solidarity with me and not go. If neither one of us can go, well, that's pretty much a, a wrap. Neither one of us are going to go because neither one of us can go. Yeah, so we're in good shape. Also, I've decided I'm probably going to return to saying we're in good shape because I don't like the offshoots of it very much, and it's a habit. So, we are going to complete a function that takes in two Boolean parameters. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of comparing the two input parameters using the AND operator, then return that variable. And by return that variable, they mean the variable you create and assign to the result. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, both are true. So let's grab the stub of the function. We'll paste that in here. And then we'll grab two test cases, which when we run the code will show us whether we've done the problem at least semi-correctly. So create a result variable and assign it to bool1 and, which is the double ampersand, bool2. Now we'll return the result variable. If we run this, we're going to see true for this one and false for this one, assuming that we did things correctly. Should be true, true, should be false, false. So it is correct enough for us to give it a whirl in the input window. We'll copy it over, run the tests, and we're in good shape. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.